Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 15, probability. The solve example on page 281, question number 8. So I'll read out the question for you and then we will relate it to what is written on the board. An insurance company selected 2,000 drivers at random, right? So these drivers were selected without any preference of one driver over another. In particular city to find a relationship between age and accidents and the data, data obtained is given in the following table. So here this table out here, it depicts the age of drivers and the accident in one year. So it, uh, in accidents uh, in one year, we have sub columns. So there's zero accidents per year, one accident per year, say two accidents, three accidents or over more than three accidents. So it was noticed that drivers of age group between 18 to 29 met with zero accident per year, the count was 440. Similarly, for the age group 18 to 29, meeting one accident per year, it was 160. The count was 160. So this is the total number of counts out here. This entire section depicts the total number of counts for the drivers and the number of accidents that they meet. So this is nothing but the frequency table. Now we need to find the probabilities following if for the following events that a driver is chosen at random. So let me just keep this book aside. So the drivers selected out of random, how many drivers were selected in total? There were 2000. So the first one, drivers between the age group of 18 to 29 years and exactly three accidents per year. So we will first check the, uh, the count of the total number of drivers meeting this criteria 18 to 29 years of age. So 18 to 29 years of age and exactly three accidents per year. So exactly three accidents per year. So what you're going to do is if you have a ruler or something, you're going to hide the rest of the column. You will only focus on this row and this column. So let's see this row and this column. It is 61, right? So this total number is 61. And what is the probability for this? It's going to be divided by 2000. So what is this answer going to be? It will be 61 divided by 2000. Similarly, for 30 to 50 and one or more accidents, and for this other one, we will follow after finding the solution to the first sub-question. So I'm going to say total number of drivers selected is equal to 2000. Now the first one, total number of, so I'm going to mark this as one, total number of drivers between 18 to 25, 18 to 29 and accidents equal to 3 is equal to 61. Let's mark this as 2. So what is the probability going to be? Probability of 18 to 29 years and exactly 3 accidents. This is going to be 2 divided by 1. So which is nothing but the count upon the total number of count. The count pertaining to 18 to 29 years and equal to 3 accidents divided by the total number of count. So this is equal to 61 upon 2000. Now let's calculate 2000s are, then 2 3s are 6, 2 zeros are, 2 5s are 10. So this is 30.5 divided by 1000. Now we need to get rid of these three zeros in the denominator. So I'm going to shift towards the left in the numerator by three decimal places. So one, two, and another three. So this is going to be equal to 0 0.0305. This is your solution to the first sub question, right? Let's proceed with the second one. And I'm just going to draw a curly line to differentiate. Okay. So now we need to find the probability for the uh, drivers chosen that lie between the age group of 30 to 50 years, so this row, and meeting one or more accidents. 
So what is the probability of one or more, what is the frequency of one or more accidents under this age group? So let's see, one is here and more than one we have all these columns, right? So which we are going to take a look at, let me take a different colored chalk. We are going to look at this, col uh, this row and which columns? We are going to take a look at one or more accidents. So this plus this plus this plus this. Why these three, these four values? Because this count is giving the number of accidents that's more than one or more than one. So one accident, two accident, three accidents, over three accidents per year, right? So what is the solution going to be? It is going to be the sum of this divided by 2000. So let's write down the answer. Okay. Total number of drivers between 30 to 50 years and meeting one or more accidents per year. This is going to be, so I'm just going to say, looking for values in row 18, uh, 30 to 50 and adding for values under columns. So which columns? one, two, three, and more than three, right? So here we have just written down which row we are going to look at and under which category. So this row and these categories. So what is this going to be? 125 plus 60 plus 22 plus 18. Let's add this. 125 plus 60 plus 22 plus 18. So 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 25. So this is giving the total number of counts of drivers selected between the age group of 30 to 50 years and meeting more than one or more accidents per year. So the probability for this is going to be this divided by 1. So I'm going to mark this as 3. Let's proceed to the other side of the board to find the solution. Okay, so probability of 30 to 50 years and one or more accidents per year. This is going to be equal to 3 divided by 1. So this is going to be equal to 225 divided by 2000. So why am I cancelling with 2 although these values are not going C? What will happen is that we will get a denominator as 1000 and it will be very easy to uh, just make it uh, write the answer in decimal form. So 2000s are, 2 ones are, 2 ones are, 2 twos are, two two are and 2 fives are. So 112.5 divided by 1000, we need to get rid of the three zeros in the denominator. So shift towards the left in the numerator by three decimal places. So this is going to be equal to 0.1125. This is your solution to the second sub-question. What we will do is proceed with the third sub-question. Okay. So no accidents in one year, no accidents in one year, zero accidents in one year and they've not given the category of the age group. So we are going to take all the rows in which there are no accidents. So no accident was 440, 505 and 360. So depending on whatever the question has been given, for example here we were given a combination of the years and the number of accidents. So we're looking for years and the number of accidents which was 3. Then we were given the combination of years 
and one or more accidents. That means you already have the age group out here, but the number of accidents it's ranging from one or more than one, right? So we are going to take all these categories. But now here we have only one. There's no combination. We just have to find the probability that no accidents happen in a year and the number of drivers selected. So no accidents happening in a year is all this. We are not really going to pertain any relate to any of these values because it's not a combination for age. There's no mention of age criteria for this third sub question. So we are going to add 440 plus 505 plus 360 and divide it by the total which is 2000. So let's find the solution. I'll say total number of cases of no accidents is equal to 440 plus 505 plus 360. So let's add these values, 440, 505, and 360. So 5, 0, and 30, 1305. Let's mark this as 4. So I'm going to say probability of no accidents per year is equal to 4 divided by 1. 4 divided by 1 is not 4 divided by 1, but equation 4 divided by equation 1, which is 1305 divided by 2000. So again, I'm going to divide numerator and denominator by 2. So 2000s are, and 2 6s are 12, 2 5s are 10, 2 2s are 4, and 2 5s are 10. So this is going to be 652.5 divided by 1000. So I'm going to shift in the numerator by three decimal places to get rid of the denominator, which is 1000. So this is 652, or I'll just write it more neatly. This is equal to 652.5. And this is your solution to the third sub question. So you can see from one, two, and three, that's these highlighted box, you can write the solution for the probability of the accidents. So please take a look at the solution. Oh, just one second. It will be 0.6525. This is the third one. Why? Because the probability will never be greater than zero, uh, greater than one. The probability of anything will always lie between zero and one. So here's the solution. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.